Do you swear on form on the penalty of perjury that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Thank you. You may be seated. Mr. Rosen, after Mr. Barr announced his resignation, did Donald Trump continue to demand that the Department of Justice investigate his claims of election fraud? <clears throat> uh, yes. He he uh, asserted that he thought the Justice Department had not done enough. Thank you. From the time you took over from Attorney General Barr until January 3rd, how often did President Trump contact you or the department to push allegations of election fraud? So between December 23rd and January 3rd, the president either called me or met with me virtually every day with one or two exceptions like Christmas Day. Um, and before that, because uh, I had been announced that I would become the acting attorney general before the date I actually did, the president had asked that uh, Rich Donahue and I go over and meet with him, I believe on December 15th as well. So after you had some of these meetings and conversations with the president, uh, what things uh, did the president raise with you? So, so the common element of all of this was the president uh, expressing his dissatisfaction that the Justice Department, in his view, had not done enough to uh, investigate election fraud. But at different junctures, uh, other topics came up at different uh, uh, intervals. So at, at one point, he had raised the question of having a special counsel for election fraud. Early on, the president said, what do I have to lose? And it was actually a good opening because I said, Mr. President, you have a great deal to lose. And I began to explain to him what he had to lose um, and what the country had to lose and what the department had to lose. And this was not in anyone's best interest. I thought it was useful to point out to the president that Jeff Clark <clears throat> simply didn't have the, the skills, the ability, and the experience to run the department. And so I said, Mr. President, you're talking about putting a man in that seat who has never tried a criminal case, who's never conducted a criminal investigation. He's telling you that he's going to take charge of the department, 115,000 employees, including the entire FBI, and turn the place on a dime and conduct nationwide criminal investigations that will produce results in a matter of days it's impossible, it's absurd, it's not going to happen, and it's going to fail. The bottom line, the most senior leadership of the Justice Department, from Attorney General Bill Barr to Jeff Rosen, his successor and his deputy, Rich Donahue, everyone except Jeff Clark, was telling President Trump the very same thing. The conspiracy theories were false. Without objection, the committee stands adjourned.